Notes are an essential element in creating drawings. In this section, we'll take a look at how to create notes and how to control their appearance. Notes are created by using the Note command found in the Insert drop-down menu under Annotations. A note icon is also present in the Annotations toolbar. Once the command is active, you'll see the Property Manager change to show the options that will control the appearance of the note. These options include several types of leaders and arrows, text justification, note font, and borders. Next to the pointer, you will see a box. This box is prompting you to click somewhere on the sheet to begin typing. As I move the pointer, notice that when I hover over the model, a leader will appear attaching the note to the part. The option responsible for this behavior is this one here called Auto Leader. If I were to select the leader option, a leader would always be displayed regardless of where I locate the note. Likewise, the No Leader option eliminates the leader regardless of the note location. I'll keep the Auto Leader option on for this example. As soon as you click on the drawing sheet to locate a note, the formatting toolbar will automatically appear. You can use it to change font type, size and style. You can also change the text color and justification. Just like you might be accustomed to in word processing programs, you can format specific characters by selecting them and choosing different formatting options. This also allows you to create notes with multiple lines and bulleted lists. Once you're finished with the note, you have a couple of options. You can complete the note and exit the note command by clicking the green check in either corner. Or if you wish to continue creating additional notes, simply click anywhere else on the sheet. This will finish the current note, but the note command will remain active so you can go on to the next note by clicking again. Notice that the same text is automatically repeated. This can be useful at times, but if you need to type something different, go right ahead. The new text will overwrite the existing text. Once your notes are in place, you can control their alignment using two different methods. The first method is to dynamically change the note alignment by dragging the note. When I select the note near its left edge and drag it, it will try to snap to the left of any other notes. By selecting the middle of the note, the note will snap to the middle of any existing notes and so on. The second method is to select the notes that you wish to align by either control selecting them or by using a window selection, then right-click on one of the selected notes. In the menu that appears, select Align, then the option you wish to use. Here I'll pick Align Left. These alignment capabilities are not just limited to text notes. They can also be used with dimensions and balloons. With notes, you can also control how the leader lines are attached. Here I have a note with multiple lines. The options in the Property Manager control how the leader is attached. They can be attached to the top, bottom, center, or nearest part of the note. One more important item regarding notes has to do with dynamic drawing view activation. Because of dynamic drawing view activation, these notes are associated with this view. When I move the view, the notes will move with it. If you do not wish for notes to be tied to any particular view, use the Lock Sheet Focus option. For more on this, review the section on dynamic drawing view activation. You will find further information regarding notes in the section entitled Creating Custom Sheet Formats. See this section to learn how to create smart notes that update automatically to display typical information such as material scale, author, and so on.